Welcome to the ad hoc video on searching for filters in the new look. In today's example, we will demonstrate how to search for filters that you may need to utilize in an advanced search or with the hopes to not have to reinvent the wheel. To begin, we want to make sure we're in the new look. To turn the new look on, you'll click on the head and shoulders and switch the toggle to on. We already have the new look on, so we will continue. We will navigate over here to the search panel on the left hand side. And before you do an advanced search for a filter, you need to determine the type of filter you want to search for. First, we will search for a student filter. We will select student. We will click advanced search. We will scroll to the bottom and we will click select filter. The first thing we will do is say we want to find all students that have a GPA of a certain value. First, we'll see if there's already a filter out there that has GPA. We'll type GPA and hit search, and we see that there are several results available. We will only see results in groups that we have membership to based on our role or whatever courses we have taken. As we can see here, there's a filter called GPA of 3.5 or higher. Perhaps we are looking for a filter with GPA of 3.5 or higher, but we want to add some extra elements. In that case, we may click on this to do a search to find all students that meet that criteria, or we may navigate to the filter designer, expand the counselor high school group, locate the filter that says GPA of 3.5 or higher and make a copy, and then that copy becomes ours. Another example, maybe we want to create a filter with contact information, such as phone number or email address. Let's start by searching for email. When you type in email, you will find any filter with the word email in it. Then we can look down here and see if there's a filter that meets our needs, and maybe we need to just find data, or maybe again, we'll go to the filter designer and make a copy of one of these, and then work from there. Let's do one more example. In the next example, we're going to click on the search tab. We're going to change it to course section and then click advanced search and select filter. We could either search for a type of filter. Maybe we want to find all courses where attendance is not checked. We will type in attendance and then we find any filters that meet that criteria. I will click close and reset and then click back on search. If you needed to reset the search, you could just click on the search. Now this time, I'm going to click advanced and select filter and just scroll through the different types of course section filters. For example, if I look under the curriculum setup group, I'm on the middle school or high school level. On the elementary level, it would be elementary courses and scheduling. I will see various filters. I see an example of one with no room name. So this will help me to narrow down and find any that meet that criteria. So I could click on that and then hit search. And no results found means that all of my courses have a room name attached. We hope that you found this video helpful in your day-to-day -day function as you work with filters, create filters so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel and that you find all the helpful filters out there. We also invite you to navigate to the ad hoc Google Classroom and ask questions to your peers anytime you get stuck or are wondering if there are certain filters available. For more IT3 resources, visit Vector at jcps.me slash teachpoint to sign up for both synchronous and asynchronous classes. This is where you can sign up for ad hoc reporting. You can find this video and so much more on our digital learning channel at jcps.me slash digital learning. Additionally, visit our technical learning center at jcps.me slash TLC for a wide variety of resources and videos, including Google, Infinite Campus, and more. You can also get help from our IT3 Care Center at jcps.me help.